Um, my name is Christy McGrath, and I was involved in a car accident. Um, the day was starting off to be a really good day because my daughter had been, uh, when I picked her up at school, she told me that she had been selected to you compete for the sixth grade for her entire class. And and so we were all excited. So I said, well, we'll go ahead and take you and we'll go get some special things at the store to celebrate. And after we left the store, we were in the car. She was so excited, had her Coke, her chips. And then all of a sudden, we just had this horrible impact and everything went flying in the car. And she started crying hysterically and couldn't understand what had happened. And it was just so traumatic. After the impact, it was everything was just so confusing because Jess was crying so much and I was just very shaken and I just didn't really understand what happened at first. But then I got out of the car, realized that we've been, you know, obviously been in a car accident and it just, everything from that point changed. I started having horrible problems with my neck. Jessica had a concussion. And it really did change the dynamic of our family for quite some time. The impact really affected my neck, but that also in, ended up ultimately causing horrible headaches because you don't really realize how everything's interconnected and how your neck can ultimately cause problems with just really intense headaches. So I would, I, I, Honestly, it went on for several years. The initial concerns were just honestly trying to figure out if Jess was okay, if I was okay, you know, the car, um, the lady that hit us wasn't very easy to deal with. Um, she was being very difficult because she had somewhere to be and I obviously did as well, but I really would, you know, wanted to have the police come and really just have everybody come and try to help us so that we could figure out where to go from that point. Um, after getting my daughter, we picked up my other daughter from high school and then, you know, we're able to get back in touch with my husband and then we started kind of figuring out what we needed to do. The confusing thing was, is I really didn't understand how to handle and navigate the insurance adjuster that kept calling me my insurance who kept wondering like is this our responsibility whose responsibility is this and i really just felt confused because all i knew is i was just sitting in my car waiting to turn right and someone rear-ended me i didn't ask for any of these things to happen but ultimately i had no control over it so basically i kept getting calls from the adjuster and he was being very micromanaging my care. Like he would tell me what I was allowed to do, how much I was allowed to spend, what they were willing to pay for. My insurance on the other hand is saying, well, if you're going to be doing these things, we want to go, you know, know who, to, who should ultimately pay for it because it shouldn't be us. Basically at one point when I was just having so much trouble with my neck and I wasn't really functioning at home, my husband and I talked about it and we're like, you know what, let's just go ahead we went ahead and paid for an MRI out of pocket because we were like, you know what? I just want to know what's happening. Just want to know if everything's okay. And it was at that point when we got the results from the MRI that we could see we really were in over our heads. And the adjuster obviously didn't have my best interest at heart. And clearly my insurance didn't really, you know, they weren't responsible. So I understood their perspective. So I was talking to someone and they recommended that we contact the champion firm and Darl Champion and that's when things improved dramatically because I no longer had to talk to the adjuster anymore. And the insurance, all of the documents went to the, you know, through Darl then. So I didn't have to negotiate or try to figure out what the next best step would be. They, they handled everything at the champion firm. Once I got into um, contact with the champion firm, Darl really just embraced my family and you know, he was very concerned about my care, Jessica's care, making sure that both of us got everything we needed. And I, if I ever had a question, I immediately knew that I could just pick up the phone and call. I even texted him. I'm not sure if he wanted texts from me, but he got quite a few texts because that just seemed like the easiest way to get to communicate. But he always 
responded promptly and was very just so helpful throughout the whole process. In the process of, you know, preparing to go to trial, Darl really wanted to get to know my family and just to get to kind of experience what life was like in my home. So he came, he came over, and I think we served him burnt cookies. And um, he, you know, it was just really nice because he took the time to really get to know me, my family, and how our lives had been impacted by the accident. My case did not ultimately end up going to trial. We had negotiated for quite some time because originally, you know, they, I think the we were hopeful that the initial treatments that I received would have been more helpful, but I ended up having to do several procedures in order to get the level of where I'm comfortable and I'm not in pain all the time and not getting the headaches like I used to. I did not think this was going to be the rest of my life. I really didn't. I didn't understand that when you get an injury to your neck, it can just devastate you, that it has so many effects on sleeping, like pain level, just functioning on a daily basis. So I really I initially had just hoped it was something that would get better quickly. And after realizing that physical therapy and all those things weren't working, I just, we ended up having to keep continuing to find other treatments that would be more effective. Jessica ended up getting my like really bad headaches for quite some time because she had a concussion. But thankfully, she, you know, now was great and the headache stopped. So she just had to do the concussion protocol. And once we completed that and she was, she was much better. I was really worried because I didn't want her to have any lifelong impact from the accident. Because even though it wasn't my fault, I just, you still, as a mom, you just, it's horrible to know that you were part of something that your child was so traumatized by. I basically, I ended up going to law school when I was younger and ended up barred in two states. But unfortunately, people do not realize that just because you're barred in an attorney that you actually know how to practice law, it really takes, it's a craft, it's a skill, and it's something that you have to hone and, and be good at. And unfortunately, not a lot of attorneys are, are really good at what they do, but Darl and his firm is it's amazing. I mean, I've been around attorneys all my life. My brother is an attorney, but I've seen such a difference here as far as the level of care and concern for the their clients. I mean, I think we really do get treated like family. Every birthday, you guys remember, I mean, they know and my daughter looks for her Starbucks gift card every year. <laughs> Now, the settlement was really helpful because I know that any of my costs that I'm going to incur because the pain is still there. It's it's not something that's going to go away for it's It will be there the rest of my life. I don't have like the turn radius that I had before and I have ongoing issues, but the pain level is significantly better since I've been able to get the procedures done and I have been able to get back most of, you know, all the things that I enjoy in life. But um but I, at least I know if the other things come up, I'll always have I, the settlement to help pay for any future expenses that I incur. And I'm just very thankful that I had the champion firm to help me negotiate and deal with the insurance company and my insurance company because it really is an overwhelming process. And it makes when you're feeling sick, it's it's hard to do, take care of yourself and try to battle other, you know, things as well. I would definitely recommend the Champion Firm. You will always have someone that will pick up a phone and help. That if you have a question, there is always someone that will be there to answer. And you never get a sense that you're in the way or that, you know, they don't have time for you. They always have time for you. They will always make time for you. And that's an unusual experience, I think, when you hire an attorney. I don't think you always get that kind of hands-on experience.